And as I tell you that, I find the theater. <laughs> Alright, so, welcome back, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Is this? Uh, also, sorry about the the the, the light, lighting. Sometimes I have to use a lantern, sometimes not. If it's off, it's very dark. Like now. Now I have to bump up the gamma on the in post production. But obviously, you can't run around with a lantern, right? These guys will get you. Ah. It's so atmospheric, this game. It's really. It's like. I don't know if, if they got like. I don't know if this is an indie company or not. They have some experience, clearly. Right? Uh, but there's like no people in this town. And it's supposed to be highly populated. So I don't know if it's an error. Or they just really know what they're doing. Let's knife this bitch. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Holy oh, you shit. see? I killed her. I killed a man. Yeah, well, it was self-defense. How are you doing? You're gonna tell me that there's a mechanic that every time I kill someone, I take some damage? Okay, don't be an edge lord and in real life kill someone. I'm not saying I would happily kill someone in real life, but... Just that, uh... You know, this is sort of an exception. <laughs> These guys are not visual at all. I thought I was busted there. The guy strolls right past. All right. Because that thing with the lights is the goal. Hmm. Yeah, but as I was saying, this is highly, highly atmospheric. I'm really enjoying it. I'm... I'm enjoying the fact that they... are including... They went this route to include some sexual stuff. I don't think it's a bad thing. Um... I think it's an interesting take to... to include that. Mm. I think sex can be very unnerving in a way. Not like real life. It can be in real life, but what I mean more is that uh, just like our horror is mundane. Let's be realistic. It usually is. Uh, and sex is mundane. It usually is, right? But in, in the world of supernatural horror, like Lovecraft, it's turned up to 11. And I think you can do that with sex as well. So I just think it really works. Um, yeah, I guess also you have the rape factor, like, uh, I got a little bit rapey there with my girlfriend there at the beginning, uh, but it was like something came over me there, you know, mm. so in that way it can be unnerving, and also if you are, uh, one of these people that are like out of touch with what's, <coughs> out of touch with what is, Turning them on, that type of thing, you know, like, no, denying it, you know, so, if you have a secretly a foot fetish, maybe you'd see giant feet or some shit <laughs> in this game, I don't know. Where the hell is everyone? Don't tell me that guy passed through. Well, this is interesting. What? Yeah, 
hell is that, man? Oh my god, this must be some game mechanic, so you have to be hidden or something. Alright guys, back into stealth mode. How does it sense me? There's no camera. Yeah, so, um... I'm sorry, I'm getting so... I have so many thoughts in my head, but, uh... I'm also trying to play the game for you guys. And for myself a bit, uh... What is that? Is that a weapon? Oh, you see, you guys, you can... Is that... Oh, I know what that is for. It's an adult entertainment device. <laughs> I've seen some videos on the internet, lads. Very immoral stuff. Ask me if you want the links. Alright. Let's pump up my health. Sanity needs a little boost, so... Whenever your sanity is down, take something. Excuse me while I also do so. Mm. <sighs> this is vitamin water. But anyway, you get the point. I would love to have an interview with these guys. That's something I'm actually thinking of doing for the Arkham Reporter channel, is to... ...include some interviews. I think, um... I'm getting to this stage where I could possibly... Mm, ...be attractive enough as a channel for people to want to... ...spend their time interviewing me, you know? Alrighty. Nothing... Ah! Oh! Uh, well, I guess I'm in the spotlight. <laughs> well, well. And who do we have here? Is that... Uh, Mr. Victor Holloway? No, you're what mistaken. What? What do you want? I can't hear you from over here. You'll need to speak up, darling. Or, actually, you can just shut that pretty mouth because nothing you say matters here. Help! Is anyone else here? Please, help me! Oh, Victor. I actually feel sorry for you, you know. Now focus, Victor. It's time to get to work. Dr. Austerlitz will be here soon. And we have to prepare for the show. No, 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 no. You're fucking crazy. This whole town has lost its shit. Do you ever shut the fuck up? Uh, please make some space on the stage. Move those trees apart and lower the cross. Our star actor needs to be presented properly. What are you talking about? If you keep slacking, I'll start counting now. And when the countdown comes to an end, well, Final you boss. won't like it much, I reckon. You remember those guys in leather with the big, hard clubs? I bet they remember you. Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Uh, you bore me. Now get to work. Time is of the essence, Victor. <laughs> All right. Pull apart trees, lower the cross. All right. Uh, one aspect I like this now here is that um, is that if you lose control and then you are essentially doing things that you don't want to, but you are sort of aware that something is taking you over, that must be horrific. That sort of sense of panic. You always have yes, a choice in life. You're doing great. But you, you know? only have a minute left. So don't blow it. Oh god. Uh so if you you always have a choice in life, so that's something important. But if you lose that choice, that must be terrifying. I know some people who are fatalists might say, well uh, it doesn't matter. You know? Um What the fuck do I lower the cross? It's gotta be like a half a minute remaining. Time is running out. Don't lose it. You 
you did great. Such a capable man. All right. It's a shame, really, if Austerlitz didn't have plans for you. I would have taken you under my wing. What's all this for? L let me talk to Dr. Austerlitz, please. We can work this out. I'm afraid oh. the time for agreements has been long over. Now we must provide the right atmosphere for the stage. Light the candles and censers and get the spotlight working. The actor must shine tonight. Actor? You're fucked up. Remember, if you slack at all tonight, there will be some well-equipped supporting actors that'll come into play. And they aren't as lovable as I am, that I can promise. So don't fuck around. Oh, and you'll need a key. Go beneath the balcony I'm standing on. Fred is sitting there. Fred is eyeing the key. I'm sure you'll see. This is pretty cool, man. Where is my... I don't have a... I can use this to light it? Oh, God. Light the sensors, light the candles. I don't have a lighter, though. Alright, let's go to this chick. Well, I can just jump down, right? Just to test. In case... Yeah, I can. Alright. Two minutes remaining. Take the key from under Rhea's balcony, alright. Ah, uh, how do I light these things, man? Uh, maybe up here? What is it, light the kind of spot? Start the spotlights. Ah, uh, there was a thing. There, this door had it asking for the key. Ah, uh, oh, sorry, I feel like I'm talking a lot. I guess it's a let's play, it's supposed to happen, isn't it? Uh, it would be a cheap thing for them to jump me, so I'm just going to assume that... Uh, I need, I need like fire, I need a lighter or something. I had one when I had my date. God. Only one minute left. Yeah, take it. Take take them all, dude. You need the box to start it, no? Okay, okay, let me move, 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 move. Rapido, rapido. Andale, andale. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Ah, oh, God, if these leather motherfuckers come at me, uh, it might be hard. Half a minute till showtime. I'm paying for me, boy. 20 seconds remains. You know what? Let's pass the time with our little song. One, two, the red hunts you. Three, four, step I don't have any more matches, man. Five, six, lashes and legs. Where's the more? I, I don't have any more matches. Are they gonna come get me? What's left? Light the sensors. I need two more matches. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, alright. is giving Victor his next line. It reads, Ah, I'm dying. <laughs> what a treat for all of us. Oh, I even got no more. bothered with that one. We asked to find matches. All right, that's wonderful. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Sorry, lads, about that uh, audio two jump. Minutes, only two minutes remaining. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, come on! Come on! Okay. Ah! Uh, go down! Go downstairs! I didn't go down here fully yet because I cannot. Uh, I need two matches, man. Like, why can't I stab this person? I got a knife, don't I? 
And you have a match. Like, I'm using a lantern, you know, you can use matches multiple times. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Bring it, bring it. You know what? Oh, yeah, pull out my knife. Let's go. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Did I start too early? <laughs> Relax, you have a minute left. Ah, come on, this is rating. Maybe I just jump ahead. Matches, matches, matches. It is at this very annoying point that my screen capture software decided to record a corrupt video file after I stopped recording and started again. Well, basically, I had to run around like a madman in this theater to find two more matches. For some reason, they weren't on the table with the other matches. No, some genius decided to place them on the railing in the same room, but why they're there? Why don't I just put them there with the other matches? Very strange. Then that weird woman who's on the balcony tells me I have to start taking down the dead body pieces one by one from this cross and then putting them into this basket labeled fuck toys. Lovely stuff. Once I have all the dead body pieces put in the fuck toy basket, this guy sticks his head out of the basement and then I run after him, but everything's locked up downstairs, and I get gassed, and then I fall asleep. And when I wake up, I'm on this cross. And while I'm on the cross, I finally get to meet this Dr. Austerlitz. And, well, he's a sick cult leader. Well, he has a bunch of dialogue, so I'll let you listen to it. I've waited for this moment for so long. He is exceptional. Truly exceptional. A lot of them were promising. And you know how they ended. It's true. But we must remain optimistic as we follow the path of purification. Thank you, Rhea. You can go now. I'll deal with the seeing one personally. Welcome, Victor! You finally made it. Bravo! As you've probably guessed by now, I am Dr. Charles Austerlitz, and this is my devout pack. And together we are known as the Scarlet Lodge. I do hope that no one was too harsh with you. Some of them tend to get carried away with their work. What the fuck do you want from me? Oh dear, calm down. Nobody wants to hurt you. If you cooperate with us, you'll soon be cozied up in your dusty abode. And all in one piece, I assure you. But, for now, we need your help. I don't understand. Why me? I, I'm nobody. Natural selection bestows unique talents at random. Which comes with a bit of malice on her part. You are a seeing one. You are attuned to the energy of Lustka, the land of ecstasy. The visions that haunt you, they are more than meaningless dreams. Much, much more. You have an extraordinary gift that can serve as a bridge between the dimensions. What are you talking about? You're fucking insane! To some, I'm a madman. To others, I am their savior. Now enough chatter. Let's get down to business, Victor. In a moment, we will transport you to Lustka. Once there, You'll find an important item hidden nearby. It's a book called The Nature of Universes. Bring it back. It must return to the Austerlitz family. You kidnapped me to get you a fucking book? You're just a bunch of psychos! In a moment, you'll go through intensive stimulation and be transported to Lustka. Then, 
You're tasked to find the book and return to the place you arrived. It's as simple as that. What do you mean by stimulation? Until now, you found Lustga through sexual pleasure. Ah, ah, don't look at me like that. I don't make the rules. I think this appointment is over, Doctor. How much do I owe you? I wonder if your jokes will still have punchlines once you feel the breath of the changed on your neck. Lustga is a world as real as ours, so remain cautious. If you die while there, then it's all over. Checkmate. Now, please, relax and open your mind to the energy of Lustka. I will help you. What? No! Leave me alone! Get away from me! Hello, little one. Daddy will take care of you. Oh my! Then the good doctor proceeds to suck me off, and then I pass out, and then I wake up in this nightmare realm. Uh, <laughs> Sorry for the cuts in the video and all that sort of stuff. I don't know why my software stopped recording. Uh, but from this point onwards, is in the next video you'll see, that's just going to be my regular old gameplay. Sorry for the edit and uh, sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. I had things on my plate, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.